If you are a 3D artist who uses GPU rendering in Blender, then it's most likely that you have encountered the issue of running out of VRAM, and that can be extremely frustrating. You may have tried to fix this issue manually, either by reducing the number of polygons in your scene, lowering your render settings, or removing some objects entirely, in the hopes of getting Blender to render your scene properly. But what if I told you that you don't have to do this and go through all of this again? Luckily for us, we're gonna be showcasing how to fix this issue using an add-on called Memsaver. This add-on is made by the folks at Polygonic, who are known for producing and publishing some of the most popular and widely used add-ons for Blender, such as Botanic, Materialic, Traffic, and much more. So quality and friendly user experience is guaranteed. Memsaver is an add-on dedicated to optimizing and reducing VRAM consumption when rendering large projects that can be taxing and limiting to your hardware. The way it works is that it decreases the texture sizes of objects that are small in the final render image, resulting in a huge reduction in VRAM consumption. This makes it an incredibly useful tool when working with large-scale projects, or for those with hardware constraints that could benefit from optimizing their resources. The way to use the add-on is very straightforward. You download the add-on, install it under preferences slash add-ons by selecting the zip file you downloaded. And just like that, the add-on should pop up in the window, giving you the option to enable it. After finishing the installation process, a new tab in the end panel will appear, containing the add-on's interface and highlighting all the features. This add-on offers a very useful set of features that you can explore such as estimated memory usage, which generates an HTML report detailing the images and meshes and the amount of VRAM they occupy. By utilizing this feature, we can easily identify any high-poly meshes or excessively large images that may be unnecessarily consuming a significant amount of VRAM, which helps us optimize our resources more effectively. Now, we'll discuss one of the add-on's most crucial features, which is called image resize. Memsaver add-on employs a clever approach to image resizing. When you choose this option, the tool downsamples the image while maintaining its quality, which is interesting. The beauty of it is, its unique image is downscaled only once, and the result is stored in the cache for future use. Using the cache image reuse once the image has been downscaled and stored in the cache is used by this add-on to cleverly reuse it when needed. This saves processing time and prevents unnecessary downsampling of the same image multiple times. So by utilizing the cache, Memsaver ensures optimal performance and efficiency. So preservation of original files is one of the greatest benefits of Memsaver, and it never modifies the original image file. The downscale versions are saved separately, allowing you to revert back to the original file whenever needed. This ensures that your precious versions remain intact and can be restored with ease. Also, Memsaver's smart image resizing and caching capabilities allow you to effortlessly optimize your image files while preserving the integrity of the originals, as we said. Next up, we're gonna talk about another very important feature of this add-on, which is adaptive image resize. The first step in adaptive image resize is analyzing the camera view and determining the proximity of objects. The camera captures a scene, and the algorithm identifies the objects presented in the scene. It then calculates the distance between the camera and each object to understand their relative position. Once the algorithm knows the proximity of objects, the algorithm compares the calculated distances and determines which objects are closer and which are farther away. Objects that are closer to the camera are considered larger in size, while those that are further away are considered smaller. So with object size information at hand, it's time for step 3, image resizing. Based on the determined sizes of objects, the algorithm resizes the image accordingly. Larger image sizes are chosen for objects that are closer to the camera, ensuring they appear more prominent and clear, which is really important. Conversely, images of objects that are small or located farther away from the camera are resized to a smaller size, ensuring they still fit within the frame without losing clarity. In my opinion, this add-on is absolutely essential if you are into creating large scenes containing many objects and textures such as archivist projects, game environments, and so on. So, if you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description.
I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to this channel to stay updated with Vendor News and CG News in general. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.